Hello, everybody. I'm Tom Pulasic, and I'm a professor of urology at the Duke Cancer Institute in Durham, North Carolina. I'd like to update you on focal therapy of prostate cancer. I'd also like to say a few words about the Focal Therapy Society. You know, we've been working together as an international group, uh, loosely coordinated for about 12 years now on various research projects, uh, clinical care for image-targeted ablation of kidney and prostate cancer. And um, the Focal Therapy Society aims to advance and position minimally invasive treatments and image-targeted cancer treatment in a safe and effective gland-preserving manner to extend and maintain one's quality of life. And that's the important premise here is in contrast to radical therapy, we want to try to achieve the same cancer control while maintaining quality of life uh, and not subjecting patients to uh, some of these side effects. So in 2019, we formally founded the Focal Therapy Society and have begun work on that uh, ever since. Now, we do have level one evidence thus far that ablation of the index lesion or the main biologic driver of a man's cancer uh, has provided min meaningful clinical benefit that can no longer be ignored. In an open label phase three randomized trial comparing vascular targeted photodynamic therapy to active surveillance, as you can see in this study uh, here, uh, there was a lower risk of progression and a higher chance for negative biopsy at 24 months associated with vascular targeted photodynamic therapy compared to active surveillance. And the curves on the right show that there is a lower chance of crossover of men requiring radical treatment when on the vascular targeted photodynamic therapy arm. We have other trials that are ongoing as well, and we're hoping to build on this. Uh, one that I wanted to highlight uh, that really uh, shows uh, all the, the features of a current contemporary trial you have here, um, 3D uh, mapping, you have uh, image-guided treatment, multi-parametric MRI localization of the tumor, we then infuse the uh, subject with gold nanoshell localized particles, and then we place a number of laser fibers, as you can see here in the grid on the center on the top. Uh, this is a very elegant uh, design. The laser activates the gold nanoshells, and on the far upper right, you can see what that looks like. It's a very dainty treatment. Uh, the results over the first 12 months are as depicted on the lower right. So we have uh, 75 clinical trials right now that are ongoing exploring focal therapy for prostate cancer. And some of those trials are now incorporating uh, not only device treatment, but also combination with drugs and radiation, et cetera. So these are very exciting times. Now the Focal Therapy Society, we are launching a international registry. So I invite you to uh, participate. If you have cases you wanna put on registry, we're gonna analyze uh, these results and hopefully bring them to regulatory bodies. Uh, we are also going to uh, launch multi-site trials. They're gonna be international in scope. We've already been providing education and training for the last 12 years. We typically have um, three uh, live meetings per year that provide education on how to read an MRI, how to do targeted biopsy or treatments, hands-on learning experiences, and ultimately we want to also uh, standardize practices. Uh, as you know, uh, focal therapy is very customizable, but we want to make sure that we at least uh, all agree uh, as to the objectives and how to evaluate these new technologies. Ultimately, we wanna bring high quality data to the regulatory authorities, uh, and hopefully these will get adopted and incorporated into clinical guidelines for the appropriate patient and appropriate tumors to treat. We will need uh, billing codes and white papers. So in the last uh, 18 months, we've had uh, three white papers. I'm happy to say that uh, 
One of these just got published in European Urology. It's on standardized nomenclature and surveillance methodologies after focal therapy and partial gland ablation for localized prostate cancer. Now, from our February meeting, we have two other panels where we use the International Delphi Consensus um, methodology. The first was looking at utilization of focal therapy for patients coming off active surveillance uh, for prostate cancer, and we've uh, uh, listed a number of recommendations. The second uh, paper that should be coming out shortly is how to incorporate molecular biomarkers in the context context of focal therapy for prostate cancer. So two topics that are very timely and uh, contemporary. So I encourage you to uh, join our group if you find uh, targeted ablation uh, interesting or you want to uh, offer it as part of your clinical care, you can uh, join the Focal Therapy Society. We have a website on www.focaltherapy.org. We have partnered with the Endourological Society uh, and you have our, our email and our phone number here as contact. And again, I want to uh, welcome you to come uh, join and work with us. Thank you for your time and attention.